An item in the automotive world that I'm really passionate about is a thing called mechanical sympathy. You know, I even teach it to my own kids, right down to, hey, warm up the car for a few minutes before you drive it off with cold oil. Well, let's have a look at four items that I'd consider would limit the wear and tear on your suspension as you drive your car. First of all, avoid potholes. Sounds pretty obvious, but sometimes hard to do. And a good way to do it is actually lift your vision a little bit. And I'd put into the same kettle is that edge of the side of the road where there's bumps and there's a drop off, sometimes a couple of inches. Keep your car away from it. But if you're looking at it, if your eyeballs are just ahead of your bonnet, chances are you're going to hit it. The next one, slow down for speed bumps. Now they're becoming more and more part of our world in car parks and in areas and subdivisions everywhere and there's nothing worse than the whack into the suspension of your car than clouding a speed bump at speed. Third one, ease in and out of driveways. Never ceases to amaze me. People just don't get this one. Where there's a kink like that and it gives your car an absolute hammering, just slow down. Ease in and ease out. Yes, suspension is designed to absorb bumps and undulations but give it a little bit of sympathy. And finally, brake earlier and gentler. The brake pedal is not a light switch. Don't treat it like a light switch. Ease your brakes on, ease them off. And the same goes for your accelerator. Ease it on, ease it off. And all of those things for me determine what is mechanical sympathy. Race drivers, good race drivers are really, really good at it. You can be too and it's a great asset for your road car.